So hello, everyone. Uh, thank you for joining our March webinar. Uh, um, and today we're going to talk about more detail with the finance. And well, our company has the most finance business reference, and we have been grown up together with the finance plan as well. Uh, and I, like I said, um, we're going to do a monthly webinar with different topic. And today we're going to deep dive talking about more in the finance industry. Before we get started, um, I want to announce that and give you a notice that we're going to record this webinar sessions. So please uh, hope everybody will know that. And so about our topic, we're going to talk about our market snapshot and some of the people might be listening to this, our first webinar about deep brain AI. So must need some little bit basic knowledge about what is our technology is. And we're gonna talk about more deeply deep dive about our business reference, especially in Korea that we have delivered five major banks. And we're gonna talk more another recap about the AI avatar solutions. And not only about our only AI avatar, but we're gonna talk about more other advanced technology, what we are building like a roadmap. And before we get started, I want to introduce myself. My name is Michael Jung. I'm the Deep Brain AI Business Development and Strategy Lead. And I'm mostly handling the whole uh, global business and also uh, investment relation. And Joe and John, can you introduce yourself too? Yes, good morning, everybody. Uh, my name is Joe Murphy. I'm with Deep Brain AI in our Palo Alto office, and I'm part of Michael's business development team. John? I thought Michael was not going to introduce us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm John. Um, very nice to meet you. I actually just relocated from South Korea. So um, the, the references that we'll be showing you today is right hot from Korea. So I hope you will enjoy. Let's get started. Great, great, great. Uh, so like I said, today we're going to talk about more finance, but a little bit about um, the preview for next month. We're also going to do a webinar with the we're talking about the kiosk and we have our partnership with the KIS. We're going to talk about more kiosk hospitality and that's going to be hosted with Joe and also KIS. With, and please stay tuned with that. Thanks too. And we're going to keep upcoming to share about more, a different topic we're going to share uh, in the future webinars. So before we get started about more the market, about the trend and everything, and Joe's going to be explaining about the market trend, how it goes. So, Joe. Yeah. Thank you. So, uh, I think most people are aware that chatbots and digital experiences are becoming more and more popular and more and more common in uh, banking in North America. Uh, actually, the virtual assistant banking market is expected to reach $11.2 billion by 2031. And you can see some of the headlines that are coming out lately, uh, a deeper dive into neobanks, most people are familiar with uh, Bank of America and Erica, their uh, conversational assistant that they offer through their app. And virtual assistants are improving banking experiences across many different banks. But what we see here is a, a common experience where it's mostly text-based and text-based virtual assistants are useful, but they're less engaging and what we've seen in our Korean experience with our AI avatars from DeepBrain is that adding an AI human to a text-based chatbot creates that next level of engagement. So I think what you'll see today is the chatbot experience here in North America that we're experiencing within the banking industry is about to be elevated much the same way it has just already happened in South Korea. Thank you, Joe. Yeah, like just Joe mentions, like I believe now the trend is is coming to the West um, in here, West side of finance industry as well that we delivered in Korea. Like three years ago, when we developed the AI video synthesis solution, we were the first company have been commercialized, and the KB Bank was the first company have been adopted AI avatar AI video synthesis solutions. And after that, we have delivered the five major bank in Korea. KB Bank, Shinan Bank, Uri Bank, and Hana Bank, and Nongya Bank are ranked to the first to fifth. And their total asset is 400, uh, 417 billion to uh, roughly to 200 billion. And their employee size is 40,000 to 16,000. 
Um, we're going to talk about more different, I mean, the common and different how they adopted this AI video synthesis solution, AI avatar. And the common thing is we made their custom AI avatar for our, our uh, finance client, uh, especially like a KB Bank and Shina Bank, Uri Bank and Hana Bank and Nongya Bank. We did, um, did a consultant in the beginning how we can create their brand ambassador the representative AI avatar and all the stuff. And we're gonna talk about more uh, details and you guys can get more knowledge how they approach to using our solution one by one. And before that, uh, like I said, there must be some, uh, this, some of our new audience who doesn't know about our, comp our solutions, a uh, little bit, didn't know about our solutions. So you guys need about a knowledge and John's gonna be explained. All right, as Michael mentioned, let's have a look at our core technology. This is our text to video AI avatar video synthesis technology. Let's play the video, please. No sound. There's no sound. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me put this video again, that's why. Hello, nice to meet you. I am an artificial human made with deep learning technology. Right, so we can convert text into AI generated videos with just a few clicks using our photorealistic AI avatars. This is our core technology. Next slide, please. Not only this, but we if we add a chatbot to our photorealistic AI avatars, it becomes conversational. I'll show you a short clip that demonstrates this video, please. Can I take your order? Your total is $9.6. Please insert or tap your credit card on the payment terminal. Order complete. Please don't for forget your receipt. Thanks. By the way, where is the nearest subway station? When you exit, turn right and walk straight for about 200 feet. Turn right at the flower store and walk 50 more feet. The MTE station is across the street. Okay. What are your business hours? Our store is open 24 hours. Please visit us anytime. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Have a nice day. So this was a demonstration of our conversational AI human. We'll talk more about the technologies and solutions later in the webinar. But before that, let's talk more about the actual business use cases in Korean banks. So we'll be talking about uh, references in <clears throat> Korea. As Michael mentioned earlier, the Kunmin Bank is the largest bank in Korea, and it's ranked 56th globally. And Kunmin Bank is the first to commercialize conversational AI human-based kiosk. Um, it is a part of their ongoing efforts to provide a personalized AI banker user experience. Let's look at the video first. 안녕하세요, 고객님. 어떤 도움이 필요하신가요? These conversational AI human-based kiosks are currently active in bank branches acting as lobby leaders. They greet the customers and provide basic information regarding Kumin Bank's products and much more. It even provides the facility information of the bank branches. Um, but this is just the first step of these full uh, three-step journey. In the second step, um, they will introduce AI bankers in their mobile application. Just like the lobby leaders, the AI bankers in the mobile application can provide numerous banking information. But the ultimate goal of this journey is to provide omni-channel AI bankers with fully personalized services. No matter where you are, the AI lobby leaders and the mobile AI bankers will provide the information you need anytime, anywhere. That's what we did with Kumin Bank. Michael, can you introduce what you're doing with Shinan? So um, the KB Bank started three years ago, and it's really good uh, business use cases that can be showing that they're expanded to mobile phone. 
And then the Shinhan Bank, the second largest bank in Korea, and they also wanted to have the, some of the common things uh, to using the AI kiosk. But the difference point is they also are utilizing AI avatar with AI videos and the solutions is called digital desk. So digital desk, like if you go to the bank branches in Korea in Shinhan Bank, and there's a customer that want to just open a bank account, then the real agent leading to the digital desk and asking like, um, they're talking with the AI avatar and that AI avatar is supporting to open a bank account. So it is like more giving optimal operations for the bank branches side. And I also want to show one of that we made the AI avatar for the Shinan bank. And this one you can see like uh, um, the Korean gesture of saying hello to bow bowing. 안녕하세요. 신한은행 서소문 지점입니다. 무엇을 도와드릴까요? 적금 가입하려고 왔어요. 올해 6월에 가장 많은 사랑을 받은 적금 상품을 안내해 드릴게요. 아래 상품 리스트를 확인해 주세요. Uh, today we talking about more Korean business reference, so I'm apologize. There's so many Koreans, but what this video is explaining about um, the customer just. Uh, coming to the AI kiosk and asking like, I want to open a saving account. And then the agent, uh, the AI avatar agent is telling like, okay, this is the, uh, the saving account product. You can be uh, open account and giving the information and the UI. And the next is we're gonna show about Uri Bank. Joe? So Worry Bank is uh, using a mobile phone application to uh, have the same type of banking assistant and this really starts across these banks, but we'll call it out here. It starts with a vision of the CEO and his vision and challenge to his team of how will we use AI to develop a digital innovative strategy? And how can we use this technology to connect with our members in a more engaging way? So this, uh, so far we've talked about KB Bank with a kiosk application, and then the next bank was a bank. digital... Shinhan Bank had a digital desk and kiosk application, and now we're at Worry Bank with a mobile first application. So you can see we have all these different touch points with the common theme of using AI to engage with the customers. And I think there's a short video here. 안녕하세요, 고객님. 원하시는 업무를 말씀해 주세요. 고객님 대출 업무는 담당 상담 직원과 화상 연결을 통해 더 자세히 안내해 드리겠습니다. Uh, John, can you explain about this video? Explain, uh, this video? Yeah, somebody help me with the Korean. <laughs> <laughs> so basically what um, the AI avatar, AI banker is saying is, well, can I help you? And then the customer will request something that AI human might not be able to support at the moment. In this case, Uri Bank is planning on to building an AI counseling platform, which engages both AI human and the actual agents. So the last part of the video you saw was the AI banker um, linking the customer with an actual agent that can solve the problem for the customers. Correct. So in this case, is, it's showing that the URI bank want to be more uh, uh, centralized in the call center. And then those local, the office branches, like there's a list of people that who can deal with the, their real customer, but linking with the call center agent and then supporting those a customer request or support. And the HANA Bank, Joe. Yes, so HANA Bank is another unique application. Uh, again, they're leading with mobile first, but what they're doing here is not uh, providing a conversational engine, but just informational video. So within the mobile app, people can access market updates, learn about banking products, this is uh, information that was typically provided in a text-based format, but now they're using the video to make it more engaging and more entertaining. I think uh, a common theme that we see across all cultures is short form video is really becoming the main way to engage with users, whether it's Instagram Reels, YouTube Shorts, TikTok. Uh, short form video is kind of the preferred method for receiving information and HANA Bank is using that in creating short form video specifically for their app users. I will show the video. Uh, this video is actually um, one of these 
summarizing how this AI avatar with AI video is showing. 안녕하세요. 하나은행 AI 뱅커 허송현입니다. And the AI avatar is explaining about the today, the finance information about the currency, the stock information, and so on. 중단 등여파로 달러화가 20년 이래 최고치 경신을 이어가면서 원 달러 환율도 1,320원 대까지. And um, you want? Oh, go ahead, Joe. I was going to say, using our AI Studios platform, they can update this information as often as they like. It's Correct. literally typing the script and then hitting export, and then the video is sent out. You can see that was actually run on a 5G network. So as we're streaming this video out, there's no latency issues. It's just text to video and then stream it to the end. Right. And the other one is the before and after using our solution. They provide with the text text and then and when they using our solution with the video the hana bank giving the responses that the their the customer is really easily to get all the knowledge much more easier way to see the video and they want to expand the solutions to their other affiliate uh their finance affiliate company because hana bank is a conglomerate finance company in korea and this is really good cases that um, their chairman wanted to be more aggressively driven to deliver this AI avatar into their uh, finance group. And Nongyeo Bank is a little bit different. And John? All right. <clears throat> By now, you'll realize the banks are trying their best to differentiate their services to attract customers and enhance their customer experience. This is why Nongyeo Bank took a different approach. Up to now, the AI avatars you saw were based on a real human models. They're based on employees, brand ambassadors, and professional speakers. But now, Nongyeop's AI bankers called Chung Eden and Yi Roon are synthetic human generated using the picture data of the NH Bank's real employees. Not only that, they gave identities to them and made them an official employee of Nongyeop Bank. They're now in their second year working as an official employee of Nongyeop Bank and digital transformation team. Let's see the clip first. She's talking about the operation hour for the kiosk. She has natural gestures, same as a real avatar, but keep in mind, this is a synthetic AI avatar. 신속하게 조치하여 고객님께 더 나은 모습으로 보여드릴게요. 잠시 뒤 이전 화면으로 이동할게요. 네, 보실 수 so, John, this, the avatar is not existing. So uh, they're not real thing. people. There's no Chung Eden and Yi Roon in the real world, but they're synth synth synthetic models that was created by Deep Brain AI upon the request of the Nongyeop's team. Right. So, and embedded into kiosks, Chung Eden and Iron are consulting customers, introducing products, and taking care of basic banking trans transaction services. Right. Uh, so, to, for for example, like the other finance company or the global company, uh, having a little bit complicated issues to using the existing faces, we also can provide a synthetic avatar. Is that is that correct, John? Right. So having AI models, what sometimes it's a very big issue to get portrait rights, but having synthetic avatars uh, solves this problem. And that's one of the reasons Nongyeop took this um, route. Correct. Thank you for sharing that. And Joe. Yeah, this is a really cool one. Uh, this is Samsung Securities and Samsung has a large securities business. They have analysts that make stock recommendations. They follow market conditions and they have clients that rely on this information for their financial advice. We worked with Samsung to create virtual humans based on a few of their lead analysts. And this enables these analysts who are very busy people to create video content that they can now push out to their audiences. Uh, they can do personalized emails, they can do YouTube videos. And these videos can be pushed out on a daily basis or even sometimes more than daily, give up to the minute market conditions, stock recommendations. And I think in this video, what you'll see is the live human is on the left and he's introducing his AI avatar to the audience. Let's see the video. 버추얼 정명지 팀장님, 간단한 자기소개 부탁드리겠습니다. 네, 다시 인사드리겠습니다.
저는 버추얼의 널리스트 정명지입니다. As we mentioned earlier, video is the primary way now that they can communicate with their users. And the security analysts don't need to get in front of a camera, don't need to go in a studio. They don't need to be camera ready. They can get these videos out. It's video at scale, just by typing text. And we see these videos getting thousands of views per day on YouTube. It's correct. This is the Samsung Stock Security Company is one of I show to a lot of clients that just uh, search Samsung Stock Security um, in YouTube and the channels. They make a video every day. It's really great. What's your and let's talk about brand ambassador too, like AI. John? <clears throat> so this is a project that we had with AIA Life Insurance Company. It's the largest life insurance company in Asia, just to let you know. <laughs> AIA made its brand ambassador, a very famous Premier League soccer player called Sun Heung Min, into AI Sunny. Let's see the clip first. AI Sunny. 안녕하세요, 여러분. 오늘부터 한국에서 여러분의 건강 생활을 책임질 AI 소니입니다. Once again, we apologize. The references that we're bringing here is from Korea, so there's lots of Korean language going on. But basically, it's AI Sunny that's being used in uh, used to promote uh, their products or such events that they would have. So it's a new uh, experience that their customers will experience from now on. Yeah, I think the brand ambassador experience is important for any financial institutions that have a recognizable trusted face or a celebrity endorsement. We can create a digital twin of that person and then you can create video at scale without having to have that ambassador in the studio. That'd be awesome because like, I think one of the, uh, our client side about what their concern is, how they can maximize using their brand ambassador the traditional way is like just making one TV commercial, but now if they having our solutions and created one of the digital twin of their brand ambassador, it means like they can make a mass production with videos. If they can integrate with chatbot, then their brand ambassador can communicate with their customers. And the AIA is just like, for now, the, um, I think they're thinking about more, a different way to use our solution. For example, like personal emails, sending those to their customers. Also, like complicated interest product that um, there's AI brand ambassador can explain and so on. What the other idea thought like basically John? it's scalable. So that's the key point here. Being mm -hmm. able to use this um, rights to uh, message the information, not only brand ambassadors, but <clears throat> with Nung Hyuk, we also have a reference with uh, a, uh, making an AI avatar of their chairman as well. So it's not just the brand ambassadors that we can do, but noted people such as chairmen. Um, it's also a good idea to have them made as an AI avatar, was my opinion. <laughs> I, I would add to that also with uh, brand ambassadors and video at scale, it gives the marketing team creative power where they can have fun with this now. And even with AIA, they introduced uh, the virtual human as AI Sonny, and they kind of frame him as a mischievous little brother to the real son. And the marketing team can just really create a persona, get customized video out there and uh, make it more enjoyable, even sharing healthy lifestyle tips, healthy eating tips, uh, all the things that they wanna push out to their audience is now enabled by video at scale. Sweet. So overall, like we explained about our solutions, how it can be used. One is like a text to video informational way. And one is the conversational when you integrate with chatbot. So text to video, um, like if you search deep brain AI and then AI, we call AI studios our platform. And when you guys are uh, using our platform, AI studios, you guys can make with HR training, product manuals, marketing video that we just mentioned about AI Sunny, that, corporate announcement, announce news, and personalized information, instructional, very easy. Like the traditional way to make the video, you need to involve more people like actors, stage, audio guy, lighting guy. But once you're using our solutions, you just need one user. That's it, to make the video. 
And the conversational, we're gonna, gonna explain more um, technical architecture in the, in the other video. But when you're using a conversational with your existing chatbot or um, uh, using the other you, uh, chatbot, you can do it with lobby leader, AI banker, AI analyst, customer service, and personalized information, and also can do the entertainment as well. So AI avatar solutions, um, we're gonna recap one more time about the AI video solutions, but this time we're gonna show uh, our AI pairs, gonna explain this. Uh, I'm sorry, before that, we're gonna talk about the business model. John? Thank you, Michael. <laughs> now let's look at the solution um, we provide as a service. We have three main products. First, as Michael talked about, we have AI Studios. It is a video production tool that enables users to create AI videos, AI human videos with simple text. It's a SaaS product, and you can subscribe by visiting our AIstudios.com webpage. You can always try out this amazing text to video solution by subscribing our starter plan, which is only $29 per month. But, um, or if you would like to inquire about the enterprise plan, so please feel free to reach out. The second one that we're talking about is AI Human. AI Human is a conversational AI human solution for clients that require interaction. So we provide the AI human solution in various formats. Um, there's a video that I will show you on the next slide as Michael mentioned, but just a heads up, we'll also launch a SaaS version of this AI human solution very soon. So stay tuned on our web uh, updates too. Last but not least, our AI kiosk products. This is a product that we talked about a lot earlier with our references. Um, it's an AI human solution embedded into a kiosk. Um, we can provide our AI kiosk with both on-premise and a uh, SaaS version as well. And I think um, Michael mentioned it earlier, um, we have a partner called Kiosk Information Systems. Um, they're our global partner, and especially in the States, we'll be providing our kiosk with them. So um, any adds, addings that you guys want to add? I mean, next month, like Joe is going to be hosting about more deep dive talking about the kiosk information system with the kiosk. Joe, anything mm -hmm. about the little bit preview for next month's webinar? Yeah, next month's webinar, we will be partnering with Kiosk Information Systems, and they are a joint venture with Lenovo and Posiflex. So they have global reach and they help us uh, really scale our product out in the kiosk format. Uh, we'll be focused on hospitality and hotels, and we'll provide a real world use case of an AI concierge that uh, has already launched. And then also we'll talk about in the kiosk format, we could run on premise or in the cloud, and we'll discuss a couple different architectures to get that done. I know that some of our banking clients require on edge or on premise processing because they don't want any data to leave the facility. And that is something we support at DeepBrain, edge processing as well as cloud processing. Great. So I think any customer from here in state and Europe, they wanted to adopt AI kiosks that we're ready to go, it sounds. Yeah, I guess we are. Yes. Um, okay, cool. And I just want to add by saying uh, we have a video that's going to follow, but it's um, it will introduce our AI Studio solution and it will introduce our AI human solution. But the introduction will be not made by us, but our AI avatar, AI Paris. So, yeah, this is really one of the benefits sometimes the our AI avatar explaining everything that we can have a break. So, <laughs> I think AI. we should target a all AI avatar webinar over the <laughs> sometime soon, right? <laughs> all right. All right. Well, AI courage. Let's go. Hello. I am AI Paris, an avatar created by Deep Brain AI. Today, I will show you what you can do with AI Studios. This very video was created with it. Let's see how it's done. This is the project page where all the magic is done. You will be able to generate videos with AI avatars using the tools here. In this model tab, you can select from a wide range of avatars with various nationalities and languages. Next, this is the text tab. You can put any type of script you want. This will be the script the avatars will be saying. You can also add images to your video. You choose from the stock images we have for you, or you can simply upload the images you want using this tab here. If you would like to change the background image, you can do it here. You can choose from the prepared templates, choose from the stock images, and you can also upload other backgrounds of your choice. In the video tab, you can insert a video into the slide. 
In the audio tab, you can add suitable BGM to your video. When you are all set, click export. There are three different ways to export the project. Video exports all the contents into a video file. Audio exports only the voice. The Chrome key exports avatar video with a green screen background. When the video is synthesized, you can download it. Also, you can view and edit the project on this page. AI Studio's videos are great for YouTube, social media, and many other platforms. These videos are widely used in broadcasting, education, and other enterprises. Try it yourself. Yeah, Tara Purse is always impressive. <laughs> she just, speaks just, so good. Just to make sure that everyone understands, our AI Studios platform is the text-to-video solution that we have. We are using two different terms for it, so I just wanted to make sure everyone has uh, ha is on the same page. And we are going to show later about AI Studio have been upgraded that we integrate with GPT-3, and we're going to share that video again too. And let's talk about AI Human and this part uh, briefly going to cover about the uh, technical architecture as well. And please enjoy. Hello. I am AI Paris, an avatar created by DeepBrain AI. Today, I will show you what you can do with AI Human Solutions. AI Human Solution is an interactive conversational solution to enhance customer engagement. We never get tired and we never lose our smiles. We can answer any customer questions that are saved in the interface chat by 24 seven. This is a very cost effective solution to satisfy your customers day and night. Some might worry about latency issues, but AI Human Solution is a low latency, real-time conversational solution. The solution is designed specifically for conversation and receiving questions. Welcome to AI Finance Chatbot. What can I help you with today? How can I transfer money? You can transfer money online or via our mobile app. As you can see in this video, it is just like speaking to a real person. Now let's see how this is all done. This is the AI human conversation flow. Introduction of financial products. Here are our financial products. DeepBrain AI can deliver the whole process as a turnkey project, but also AI humans can be integrated with any third-party solutions easily. DeepBrain AI delivers AI human solutions in SDK along with a guidebook and sample codes, which enables engineers to easily integrate their existing solutions. AI Human SDK can be delivered in a variety of OS platforms, including Android, iOS, Web, Unity, and C Sharp. We also provide AI Human Embedded AI kiosks for offline uses such as QSR and other retail stores. Enhance customer engagement with AI Human Solutions today. Thank you, Paris. Uh, our AI Human uh, Solutions going to be launched on the SaaS platform based as well. Uh, maybe two weeks. It's going to be showing more reasonable price. So please stay tuned. A any comment with this AI human uh, and AI studios, John and Joe? Um, within this video that you just saw, there was a scene with our kiosk and our colleague Felix talk actually talking to it. So the reason we put that video is just to show that it's an actual real time product that we prioritize and it's commercially being used. So right. just, to, just wanted to emphasize that part. Yeah, I, I would just summarize, uh, there's two key takeaways, two products, AI Studios for creating one-way informational video, and then the AI Human SDK for creating conversational experiences. Correct. So anything about the text to video, we call our solution AI Studios. Anything like uh, uh, interacting with conversational, our solution we call AI Human. And let's talk about our solution roadmap, how, what we are upgrading and updating. So GPT-3 before that, I think Joe, you recently using this a lot and showing to your customers as well. Can you briefly explain first? Yeah, so uh, when you log into AI Studios, it's a text to video engine, but sometimes you have an idea of a video you want to create, but you're not sure of the whole script. So uh, DeepBrain AI has just recently integrated with ChatGPT. So everybody that's familiar with ChatGPT, it's a really powerful large language model. And you just type a prompt and then you hit create. And as soon as you do that, it starts generating the script based on the prompt and you can see it here. 
this was a, a prompt for an introduction of an AI avatar. It was all automatically created by ChatGPT and then synthesized by AI Studios. AI avatar can respond to queries, provide information, and perform tasks for users, making it a versatile tool for personal and professional use. So for example, like if you, let's say I want to search about deep brain AI in our AI studio platform, that result of the data is coming from the GPT-3 and automatically that result data was showing our studios and you guys can select the template and everything will be automatically just um, with the one solution providing with uh, the editing and template with the text. Is that correct? Yeah, absolutely. And this is a, a perfect way to create custom videos for talking about financial products or even physical products. Uh, you start with the idea of what the product is and let ChatGPT generate the script. And then you can go in there and modify it yourself and, and tailor it more to your specific audience. But it also, the really cool thing is it sections it up into a a PowerPoint presentation style where different slides contain different texts and it's all automatically done. So from one sentence, you can go into a 10 slide presentation that is led by an AI avatar. It's literally just typing a prompt, selecting a background and hitting export. And I just heard John, you just mentioned that we can try it with $29. Uh, we can start it with $29. So AIstudios.com people. Okay, cool. Nice. Thank you. Actually, this is really great for me because I'm so lazy to search it in GPT-3 and then copy and paste and bring it in and then have to decorate all the template and all the stuff. So this is, can be made automatically. Wow. That's cool. So, and the other one is about the 3D models. And John, can you explain about our 3D models? So we talked a lot about our photorealistic 2D avatars, but um, we also have the capability to produce hyper-realistic 3D avatars. Um, it's a wordplay, but we want to emphasize that it's a very real human looking 3D avatars that you can use in okay. different locations. Um, with this 3D avatars, you, we can select from a variety of pre-made models, and you can also change your hairstyles with these avatars as well. Not only that, um, <clears throat> You can also change the proportion of the model, um, size it within the screen, how you want it, where you want it. Um, and then you can also change different outfits to it. So it it's demonstrating you can wear different outfits. We put on a deep brain AI t-shirt on her. Now she'll, she can also perform some simple gestures. So it's something new that we have introduced, but what we wanted, this is, well, this is our first time actually showing our 3D avatars in public. So these avatars can go into all other uh, scenarios, but also it will be very useful in the metaverse environment. And so can you explain like wh why like 3D is more flexible to our 2D avatars? Because you are the director to making our 2D avatars well. So can you explain that one? Because it's going to be more easily to understand about the uh, background. So you mute. Okay. So the 2D models that you've seen so far are based on a video shoot that we do in a studio. And the 3D models are really suitable for the metaverse environment or 3D immersive experience environments. But most of our clients, they start with us on a journey for 2D avatars, but they want to work with us for 3D avatars as well. So we provide both technologies, 2D and 3D. You could think of 2D as on the surfaces, the screens that we use most today, our mobile phones, our computers, the kiosks, they're really uh, suited for 2D interactions. But the metaverse, AR, VR, and even web browser experiences are ready for the 3D world, and we're providing both. And when we go into the 3D world, we have more flexibility in the outfits we can choose, the hairstyles we can choose. Uh, we still have the hyper-realistic nature. We still have all the different languages that we support, but we just have a little more flexibility with uh, some of the other uh, nuances of the avatar. Thank you. And the 3D metaverse. So uh, Joe, can you continuously explain our 3D metaverse as well? We'll play the video. Yeah, this is an amazing video. We deleted the music so you can go on. 
<laughs> okay. So uh, what you're seeing here is a 3D immersive environment that we've created and inserted one of our 3D avatars into it. Uh, it could be a museum gallery, a car dealership, a banking facility, a market. And now you're looking at another 3D immersive experience, but with one of our 2D avatars in it. So we could support, again, 2D or 3D, but we're creating the entire experience, the whole 3D world. This takes a talented team of not only deep learning engineers, but artists as well. And Deep Brain brings this technology to the forefront because we have that intersection of artists and engineers and the capability to build these custom experiences on the fly. And the other one thing is that the, I can't not tell the name of the bank, but that bank is uh, preparing the metaverse branch right now is because uh, like, even I don't go to bank branches, not really often, like once, once a year or once or two years. So that is kind of trend and they want to build the metaverse branches. The thing is without the avatar, the metaverse or immersive experience is gonna be the half service. To providing it as full, we need a both metaverse platform background and plus added the AI avatars, really important things. And we deliver both. We have the both technologies that can deliver. So any of here who want to do for some the fun experience to build the metaverse platform, please contact us and we can provide and support you guys. Uh, the last thing I want to talk about the virtual avatar that the um, John also explained about the Nongya Bank. But like I said, the, some of the clients are a little bit frustrating to uh, deal with the portrait right and IP right and all that stuff. So they want to make a virtual avatar. Uh, we call it synthetic avatar as well. Uh, so how we make it, we can make the uh, virtual faces through open source, or we can make it with existing face and mix it and then create a new faces. And then we need some the real models. And then we do, before we do merchant learning, we do face swap and then check how it looks. And then after the art client giving approval they want to do with this faces, then we create the virtual avatar as a generative AI solutions. And I will show you one by one. There are a series of multiple choice questions. The answers are given, and the goal of these is for you to just read the question. Acted on by the combined effects of Earth's motion and energy from the sun, Earth is often called the blue planet in such a term relates to the fact. And the other face. Hello, I'm a virtual human model of deep brain AI. Nice to meet you. And when animals feel unsafe, they use their heightened senses. So as you can see, all this, uh, the virtual avatar was based on the real person of model. And then we did a face swap with the virtual face. And then we take a look how it looks like to do before we do uh, the immersion learning. And after that, uh, we can also create a virtual avatar as a generative AI video solutions. And this can be sold one of our clients who want to build their virtual avatar as a brand ambassador, or it could be representative of their customer, uh, their company. Uh, we're going to go with the Q and A, but before that, wrap it up, um, any comment from John and Joe? Just on this one, uh, it really creates an unlimited list of avatars. Now. I think we have about uh, 60 real people in our AI studio platform and we can mod their faces and create an unlimited amount and we can even customize the faces to the customer's specifications. I think John, you also- Yes, I also do want to add, um, it's opening a new world, um, creating hundreds and thousands of new models as possible. Not only that, it also has the all the other aspects that our 2D models and 3D models have. So um, you can also add multi-languages to it. So la the language is not no more a barrier. Um, it can be used in all other uh, interfaces as we talked earlier. Great. Uh, now we're gonna go to Q and A. Uh, is there any questions from anybody? Actually, I've you been... have one more slide, right? Eh? Oh, yeah. yeah, I'm sorry. There are serious. Yes. So wanted to wrap it up by saying that 
AI, uh, well, Deep Brain AI has the full coverage of AI avatars in both uh, video generators and conversational AI forms. And we can proudly say that Deep Brain AI is the only company to actually provide such full coverage. Joe? Yeah, I reiterate what John said. Uh, 2D avatars, 3D avatars, hyper-realistic avatars, digital twins, synthetic people. We can even do cartoonish Roblox characters. Uh, we are the one-stop shop for these AI avatars. Yeah, this is like one of our, um, the aiming goal that we want to be the number one in the avatar, creating avatar, any type of avatar, 2D or 3D. Um, I have some questions like, is our AI avatar can answer all of the user questions? Joe? Absolutely. <laughs> is it, so yeah. that, that's one of the key uh, differentiators from our avatars to some of the other companies out there is that we can handle the conversational nature and we can connect to chatbots. We can connect to large language models. We can connect to knowledge trees to, to provide those answers. Our avatars can really handle whatever brain is driving the speech behind us, we can handle that. And John, any comment with that? Um, yes, um, we can like basically, if you build up a scenario chatbot, for instance, of your taste, um, I say a scenario based for banking experience would be more appropriate in some ways because it will give the direct answer for the cost customer's questions. Um, so having these kind of chatbots set with AI avatars, basically our AI avatars can answer to any type of questions that you want. Correct. And uh, we also have integrated with GPT-3 with our 3D avatar. And I pretty think uh, pretty soon we're gonna show that thing. So our AI avatar can explain and answer anything based on your knowledge base of your chatbot engine. And I think that could be answered at questions. The other one is, about like you just see one of the video from KB Bank or Shinan Bank. Uh, our customer know what their customer is asking. They know what is the common questions, uh, what their customer asking that was. So the main purpose to using the AI kiosk is, is the optimal operations. For example, to asking a really simple question, sometimes they have to wait in a line for 30 minutes to one hour that AI avatar can be handling those kind of questions. So that is the, is this coming from? Yeah, I just want to add, Michael, there were questions coming in in the Q&A and I was addressing them, but I'd like to read a few and, and maybe you and John could both add some content as well. Uh, the first question is, so the AI avatar is taking content from the financial analyst typed or provided and reporting on it. How should we think about it? And I shared that uh, the analyst creates the script and then the selected avatar video is synthesized, but also as we showed later, you could connect to a large language model like ChatGPT and have that generate the script for you. Uh, so there's really two ways to think about it, either human generated content or AI generated content, but the script is driving the video that we synthesize. That's true. And for the Samsung Securities case, um, the analyst itself himself is a very popular and famous uh, analyst in the market. And he was actually giving out information through YouTube through a weekly basis uh, program. But after having our AI avatar created as an AI analyst, the content that they're providing to their customers via YouTube is now daily. So Michael did emphasize this. It was a weekly gig for them, but having the AI avatar, they scaled it to a daily basis. So I think this is a great improvement that you can make using our solution. There's a one of the questions that um, I well can understand that in Korea and Asia is really easy to see AI avatar. Do you think the AI avatar solution can be shown in the US and Europe market? Joe, can you explain? I'm sorry, say that again. Sorry. Um, uh, the one of the the uh, the audience asking like they can understand that they can see AI avatar solution in Asia market, especially in Korea. Do you think this can be showing in here in the US and Europe market? Yeah, absolutely. And that's why Deep Brain AI is so focused on North America. Uh, Michael, our senior strategy lead for global, has now moved to California, is here with me. Uh, our CEO is in the California region as well. Uh, we see what was accomplished in Asia 
And we know that trend is coming to North America. We're having deep conversations right now with many uh, institutions, uh, TV networks, financial institutions, all types of businesses that you could think about. Uh, Asia is typically a little faster at taking on new technologies, but those trends come across and we're seeing it right now. I'd say this is kind of the, the, the crest of the wave as these AI avatars will become very commonplace throughout North America and Europe very soon. That's good. Great. I mean, what, what about like, because in Korea, like, you know, it is like a trend that people don't go bank branches anymore and there has the mission they have to cut down their operation costs and so on. So that was kind of circulation move. What do you think about in the here in US and Euro market? Yeah, so these avatars help uh, in a, a couple of different ways. One is it creates a kind of more traditional brick and mortar bank, gives them an AI halo and a technology halo. So when they start uh, implementing these technologies and using them, their customers get that kind of that wow feeling that this this bank, this brand, they're on the cutting edge, they're moving to the digital future, they're taking me there. And also uh, one, one of the scenarios that we saw earlier was AI and humans working together. I think it was at the digital desk. So this is allowing the AI to handle the very repetitive questions, the information taking, and then bringing in a live human or a human in the loop only when it's needed. So humans can be used much more efficiently now and their time is valuable. And if resources are shrinking, you can use the AI avatar to handle the very redundant mundane tasks. And then the humans come in when backend work is needed or things need to be uh, accessed on secure networks and it needs that next level. Uh, the other question that we recently talked have deep discussion about the pricing. John, can you explain about, is there a cost difference to create a custom avatar of a person and a cartoon model and picture? Well, the answer to that question is yes. And um, if you would give us the exact use case of what type of models that you would like to discuss, um, we'll, uh, let's have a meeting and then I can um, address you to a standard price that we can talk about. So just to answer your questions, yes, there are different price models for creating different model types. Great. Uh, and there is one question. I think, Joe, we recently have, uh, I shared this, one of the report that what is the user experience feedback for a customer who use the uh, AI human uh, specific transaction cards in banking something? Yeah. So the customer reactions are, are, are really uh, that sense of delight. First, there's the sense of, wow, this is really cool. But then there's the, this is efficient. And this becomes my primary uh, method of accessing information because they're always ready to go. They always have service with a smile and they always are on message and talking about products and services that are most relevant to the user. Mm, nice. There's a questions that are, you, is there some customer? Before, before we move on, I do like to add to that question for okay. user experience wise, mm -hmm. because it's not just providing the nice, good touch to the user experience, but it can mm -hmm. also help you out with the new technology uh, breakouts that's been happening. So uh, automatic teller machines, now it's been popular, but if you were to like add a new technology to it, let's say for a kiosk or something, um, when digital transformation is under process and for the elders who's not very familiar with the digital uh, technologies, it's a digital barrier that's being created right there. But having an actual human touch and being able to actually talk to the AI avatars and getting to understand what they're talking about. Um, it's a great advantage for people who don't, who are not really familiar with the technology. And um, it's a way for them to get the information that they want very easily. So I do have to emphasize this part as well. Thank you. And there's one question that is there some uh, US or Europe, uh, the bank customer who are contacting the deep brain AI, Joe? Yes, but uh, under NDA, we can't share who's contacting us, uh, but I can say we have uh, deep contacts within uh, all the different verticals that virtual humans can be used in. Nice, great. And um, if anyone here uh, have a chance to visit Seoul, Korea, um, anything you have seen, the AI avatar is going to be deep brain AI solution. And, and, and then the other one benefit things about the, our AI avatar can speak multilingual, multilanguage. 
So if you click on the different language, uh, the selected different language, that one, then AI avatar can support the different language depending on the different nationality that customer as well, I think. For example, I think that can be really great for in the US because in the US they have like Spanish, English, and some of the minority, the different nationality can speak different language. Don't you think, Joe? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, that, that's what we're looking forward to in the US is creating these multilingual models. The technology is there ready to support it. So you just need to meet the user where they are. If the person wants to come up and talk Spanish, they can talk Spanish. If they want to talk French or English or uh, Hindu, or whatever language they want to talk, it, it's ready to go. Awesome. So we have three more minutes before we end up a webinar. Uh, any other comments that uh, wrap it up about our finance industry webinar, Joe and John? I'll just share, there was a couple questions about creating custom avatars. Mm -hmm. We'll reach out to everyone. Uh, we can create custom avatars for anybody. Uh, it's a studio process that we go through. Uh, there's also a question here. I see a lot of people, somebody had a great idea of doing an AI human for a game show. And that made me think of, uh, we have Howie Mandel, who in the US has been a game show host on Deal or No Deal. It's also a host on America's Got Talent. So uh, I, it's a great idea to go with the game show theme. And uh, I can't wait to see what our customers think of. I know we're focused on banking for this, but our customers are always surprising us with applications for these AI humans and these avatars. So we're excited to work with everyone. Great, and John? Well, first of all, it was a great experience for me to um, explain the actual use cases that has been occurred in Korea. Um, once again, was all in Korean, so please understand, but the references that we have there are with actual top five banks listed in Korea. So they're not small companies, um, they're big, huge conglomerates actually using our AI avatars in their everyday operation, which I think it means a lot. It's already tested, it's commercialized, and it's ready to launch in the U.S. So anyone, anyone, any company who has interest in it, um, please feel free to ask us. And not only just making it, creating a new AI avatar, you guys can also using our stock models that in the AI studios. And every month we are, are adding more our stock models. And this week also we're filming a model, AI models for our AI studios platform as well. This week we're also going to be really busy to, um, to f filming them as well. And like I said, uh, next month, April 11th, we're going to do another webinar with Kiosk Information System. They are the kiosk manufacturer. Joe, is that correct? Yes, absolutely. It'll be at 11 a.m. at, I'm sorry, at 9 a.m. on April 11th. Yeah. And and invite everyone who attended this webinar will get an invite. That'd be great. And this is going to be a different topic, but very interesting topic that we're going to uh, talk about. And we also going to talk, there's going to be another uh, we monthly will be doing webinar, but um, we'll be share the what's going to be our next topic for the May and June. So please stay tuned and keep um, looking our website and everything to get the more information. And I think we gonna be ended up this webinar today. All it's all right. good. Thank you, Michael. Oh, thank you, Joe and John. Thank you, Michael. Thank, thank you, Joe. Much. It was nice talking to you guys. Bye, guys. Bye.